So for this first example, we're going to look at three different series. We're going to try to prove convergence or divergence for all three of them. So by looking at this first one, square root of 2n squared plus 1 over n cubed, we need to prove convergence and divergence using one of the tests that you guys have learned. So in this case, I'm going to try a comparison test. So when we have polynomials, especially with ones under square root, comparison test is usually a good place to start. So I'm going to write out my inequality, see if I can prove it using direct comparison tests first. So my guess for this series is that it's going to converge. So knowing that, I'm going to assign this as my a sub n, so 2n squared plus 1 over n cubed. And I need to come up with something that I can compare that to. So I'm going to compare it to just square root of 2n squared over n cubed. Now, I can simplify that a little bit, and I'll write it out. I end up getting square root of 2 n over n cubed, so that becomes square root of 2 over n squared. Now, there's a problem. This is not necessarily less than or equal to that. So I need to figure out a way to still prove convergence. I can't use it doing direct comparison because that inequality does not hold. But I can still try limit comparison. Limit comparison just says that if I take the limit as n goes to infinity of my a sub n over b sub n, and I get any kind of constant, they should both either converge or both diverge. So when I plug into this, I end up getting, I have a square root of 2n squared plus 1 over n cubed times, my b sub n is here, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal because I'm dividing by a fraction, n cubed over square root of 2n squared. Now those terms will cancel, and if I take the limit of this as n approaches infinity, they're both 1. So this constant doesn't really do anything as n goes to infinity, so therefore all I care about is the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient is square root of 2n squared. This is 2n squared. So as n goes to infinity, this is equal to 1. 1 is between 0 and infinity, so that means that both series will either converge or diverge. Well, I know what this series will do because it's just square root of 2n squared. I know that will converge by p-series test. So p-series convergent. Therefore, if this is convergent, this should also be convergent. So for number one, I'm going to write c. Number two. So to prove number two, we have 1 over natural log of n to the sixth. Again, I'm going to do some kind of comparison test to try to prove it. So. In this case, I'm going to make an assumption that natural log of n is actually going to be divergent. And the reason I say that is because natural log of n grows slower to any power than 1 over n. So if it's growing slower than 1 over n and 1 over n is a divergent harmonic series, this should also diverge as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that 0 is less than or equal to. So if I want this to diverge, I need to pick a series that's going to be less than or equal to that that will diverge. So my a sub n, I need to pick and my b sub n will be 1 over natural log of n to the sixth. Okay, now I need to pick something that's representative of that series. A good rule of thumb is that if you have natural log of n to the sixth, or any power, and you want to prove it using a comparison test, compare it to 1 over n to 1 over that power. This inequality should hold, and this series is always divergent according to p-series test. So because this is divergent, this will also diverge. So number two is divergent. So this one was convergent by limit comparison. This was divergent by direct comparison. Now we move on to number three. Number three, sine of 1 over n to the fifth. Again, I'm going to use a comparison test on this to try to prove it. So sine of 1 over n to the fifth, I'm thinking that it's going to converge because of 1 over n to the five. So if I wanted to converge, I need to pick a series that's going to be bigger than that. So if I write out sine of 1 over n to the 5, my less than or equal to, the b sub n that I'm going to choose is 1 over n to the 5. So I'm just going to choose whatever's inside. And my reason for doing that is because taking the sine of something should always reduce how much it is because sine is always bound between negative 1 and 1. This series is convergent by p series. Therefore, if that's convergent by p series, 
this should also be convergent by p-series. So I end up getting convergent. Convergent, divergent, convergent. So the final answer in the multiple choice is B. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.